It's really no wonder that 80% of men nowadays have an extremely difficult time finding a partner. And in a world in which we have been programmed to be aware of terms such as toxic masculinity, it might not always be easy to determine how a real men should act. You can act like a man! What's the matter with you? But it's pretty easy to tell how real men would never behave. These are 9 habits that make you more feminine, unattractive and simply turn off women around you. You know, a few years ago I had this friend and he was the greatest at everything. He could get all the women, he could earn all the money, he was basically a modern day Hercules. What was the problem? None of it was true. And that brings us to the first unattractive habit, which is lying. A real gentleman never lies. Why? It's extremely shameful to get caught with a lie. Monsters? If you're asking yourself, what if telling the truth to a certain person will lower their opinion of you, or what if it will cause trouble, well that's because lying reinforces bad behavior. If you train yourself never to lie, you will force yourself automatically to make better decisions because you will know that you'll have to answer for them. Plus, a man's word means everything. A man without his word is nothing more than a little boy, and that's not what women want. Which brings us to the second point, not sticking to your word. Have you ever heard of the word integrity? If not, it's something you should cultivate. This is an enormous turnoff for women. It's when a man says that he's gonna do something, or a man says that he is something and he doesn't stick to it. For example, let's say that you tell your wife or your girlfriend or maybe even your mother that you're gonna clean your room by the end of the day. I cross my heart and hope to die. Well, you go to work, you come back home, you go to sleep, and by the next morning, the mess is still in your room and she gets pissed. And you're all like, are you really getting this upset because of a room? It's not the actual room that she's upset about. It's the fact that you did not stick to your word. So when you promise something, when you say that you are going to do something, always stick to your word. You know what else is extremely unmasculine? It's not being ambitious and not having a purpose. A man without purpose is a lost man. And I truly believe that the lack of purpose is one of the highest causes of depression in men. Because let's say you have a job, let's say you go to work for 8 hours a day and then you come home. You're gonna be miserable if you hate the work you do and then when you come home you simply play video games or watch movies. No, you need a purpose, you need something to drive you. Why are you here? Why am I here? Why are you here? My purpose is that I'm trying to teach young men to become more gentlemen, to become more masculine. That's my purpose. You need to find yours. Without it, you are not going to reach your masculine potential. You know what pisses a lot of women off is if you're always late. Look, if you're late once or twice, it's fine. No one will blame you. But if you make a habit out of it, if every single time you have to meet with someone, you're 5, 10, maybe even 20 minutes late, that screams something about you. And that screams arrogance. That screams that you think that your time is more valuable than the time of those around you. So how can you stop being late if this is pretty much a lifestyle for you? Well, there are a couple of things you should do. First of all, figure out how long it takes for you to get ready. Figure out how long it takes to shower, to dress up, to groom yourself before going out of the house. And let's say it takes you 15 minutes. That's a pretty decent time. That's what she said. Then, figure out by using an app such as Waze, how long it will take you to get there. And let's say Waze tells you that at this hour, because of the traffic, it will take you 20 minutes to get there. Then add those two numbers, 15 plus 20, that's 35. Add those two numbers, add five minutes, just to be sure, and you get the number of when you should start getting ready to leave. Gentlemen, don't be boring. What do I mean by boring? A lot of times when someone is boring, it's not because they're actually a boring person and it's because of social anxiety. And this is something a lot of men, me included, deal with. And the forms it usually appears is, is agreeing with everyone else. It doesn't matter if you have a different opinion. It doesn't matter if you don't believe in what you're saying. You will simply nod your head like a little puppet and agree because you're too scared of having a different viewpoint. Agreed? Agreed. If you do this, if you're boring, no one will be around you, so it's time you change. And how do you do this? Well, when it comes to women especially, what you want to do is tease them. You want to poke a little fun of them, playful of course. You also want to be mysterious. Number six is the lack of attractive habits. Do you know what else is a very unattractive habit? Is the lack of attractive habits. And what do I mean by attractive habits? Well, it's stuff like going to the gym, reading, developing your style, uh, playing a guitar, writing, anything that can be attractive to a woman. 
you basically don't want to be that guy who goes to work, comes home, watches movies, plays games, and that's his whole, whole life. You know I like to watch two full movies before I go to work. That's bored. You want to have something going on for yourself that you're very passionate about. Number seven is not acting like a gentleman. Whoever said that chivalry is dead was wrong. Don't listen to them, they were wrong. Women like it when you are chivalrous, when you're well-mannered. What does that mean? Open the door for them. Hold the door open for them. Be courteous. Compliment them. That's how a gentleman acts and that's how you should act. But being a gentleman is not enough. You also want to look like a gentleman. The suit is a modern gentleman's armor. And the Kingsman agents are the new knights. Which brings us to number 8 on this list, and that's always being underdressed. You see, here in Europe we have this thing called a Balkan couple. And what a Balkan couple is, it's basically a very attractive woman who always puts a lot of effort into her appearance. She always wears dresses, makeup, skirts. You like that, right? You like it when women put effort and look good. Well, she wants you to do the same. In a Balkan couple, the guy is always underdressed. He wears, he wears football jerseys, he wears t-shirts, he wears jeans or sweatpants and sneakers. Just all you have to do is match her level of effort. Nothing more than that. If she's wearing a dress, wear a shirt. If she's wearing a skirt, just wear a polo shirt. That's all. That's all you have to do. You don't have to wear a suit or a tuxedo every day. I am so underdressed. And number nine, which is probably the most shameful thing you can do on this list, is letting your girlfriend dress you. If you have reached a certain age, if you are over the age of 10, if you're over the age of 10, you should not let the woman dress you. Okay, when you were young, uh, hopefully just when you were young, your mother was dressing you up. Now you have a girlfriend or a wife, or you're trying to have one, it's time for you to pick your own clothes. If not, you're basically just wearing her clothes. Do you think a masculine man wears his girlfriend's clothes? Because if she picks them up for you, if she is the one choosing your outfits, it's her clothes. Uh, I wore woman's clothes. And a branch from this it's guys who let their girlfriends do the shopping for them. I know couples like this. Couples who are in their 40s or 50s, whose wives go shopping and they just, they grab a random t-shirt off the rack and they don't even know the size of their husbands and they just go like, this will do, this is fine. And the shirt might be two sizes too long or too short, it doesn't matter. Don't be that guy. But dressing up yourself, it's not enough. You need to know how you should dress. And if you want to know the most attractive items you can wear that turn women on like crazy, I have a list right here for you. Check it out.